when all of Venice becomes a catwalk, you know it's carnival season. Everywhere in the city, locals and visitors alike strut their stuff in masks and costumes. Some revive the past, and others let their imagination fly. Venice is born to custom like this. So we are beautiful in the beautiful city. You feel a bit more important in a lavish costume. Whatever picture you take here, it's going to be a nice one because of the place, because of the masks, because of everything. We find Venice is unique. St. Mark's Square is the epicenter of carnival in Venice, a place where tourists can learn about the city's centuries-old traditions. The talents of mask makers, cobblers and other artisans are all on display here. Francesco Brigi is one of them. For more than 20 years, he's created historical costumes. He himself is wearing the garb of a 17th century Venetian. He's fascinated by history. It's just a jump in, a, in the stories of the past that helps you to know exactly the, um, the changement of the fashion. Every new dress is a totally new dress because I never do, and I'm sure I will never do, two dresses exactly the same. With one exception, Bridgie created the 12 dresses for the young women who dance in the carnival parade. This is a beauty contest, and one of these women will become next year's carnival angel. To get to Bridgie's workshop, you have to wind your way through Venice's narrow alleys and get in touch in advance. There are more than 400 costumes here, and each one costs around 2,000 euros. The designs are all patterned on historic fashions and are made from top quality materials. Bridgie named his workshop after the Baroque painter Pietro Longhi. Old paintings are a source of inspiration for Bridgie. He rents out his costumes, but also makes them to order. The people that come here, they could understand what we are doing because they see the people that made with the hands and they can, they can talk to the people that do these things that actually in these days it's a very hard to get. Massimiliano Frazzoni is a regular customer. Today he's renting a costume that will allow him to slip into the role of a late 16th century nobleman. These garments are full of intricate details. We call this gorgera. It's made by eight meters of uh, lace and it's handmade and soon. It takes uh, two, uh, two, almost two days to make one. It's my favorite era, the one that simply suits me the best, the Renaissance. Renting this costume costs 220 euros a day, but Frazzoni says it's worth that price to be able to saunter around Venice's streets in style. It doesn't take long for the first person to take his picture. He enjoys the attention. I like this one. <laughs> it's fun, of course. I admit, it flatters my vanity. Otherwise, I wouldn't go to all the trouble. Carnival in Venice is a citywide parade of vanities. The point here is to take center stage. That's why revelers devote so much energy, money, and love to their costumes.